एक आई थोड़े सा वेलकम बैक टू माई YouTube चैनल कल का ब्लॉग थोड़ा हर बड़ी में बंद हुआ हम लोग ऑटो नहीं ले पाए क्योंकि ठंड बढ़ गई थी भूख लग रही थी और मूवी के बाद हम लोग को बहुत लेट हो गया था और नींद आ रही थी घर जाके हम सो गए थे बट मूवी बहुत अच्छी थी एंड थिएटर में देखना तो ही मज़ा आएगा बिकॉज ऑफ द ग्राफिक्स एंड वी एफ एक्स एंड एवरी थिंग और अभी हम लोग ब्रेकफास्ट कर रहे हैं थोड़ा तो क्यूट कलरफुल लग रहा है मेरा पेट आज मैं जैक स्नाइडर के साथ इंटरव्यू करने वाली हूँ थोड़े क्वेश्चन पूछने वाली हूँ एंड थोड़ी सी नर्वस हूँ बिकॉज ऑब्वियसली ही इज सच अ बिग डायरेक्टर प्रोड्यूसर मतलब ही इज़ अ लेजेंड अगर आप देखा देखा जाए तो उसके बाद हम लेजर टैग के लिए जाने वाले तो आज का दिन भी थोड़ा फन होने वाला है स्टार्ट में थोड़ा नर्वसनेस होगी बट उसके बाद फन होने वाला है एंड चिल्ड होने वाला है सी यू व्यू भी दिखा दो व्यू व्यू पहले इतनी शांत क्यों है क्योंकि अभी हम इंटरव्यू के लिए जा रहे हैं बहुत नर्वस है गाइस अभी अचानक से मुझे पता चला कि सिर्फ जैक नहीं हम लोग जो बाकी कास्ट है उनका भी इंडिविजुअल इंटरव्यू होने वाला है और क्वेश्चंस रेडी नहीं थे तो अभी बैठ के मैंने क्वेश्चन रेडी किए सो माई नेम इज नगमा मिराजकर आई एम अंटेंट क्रिएटर फ्राम इंडिया इंडिया वेर मुंबई मुंबई आई विन डिड यू लाइक इट Yeah, I loved it. I love the food. Food, actually. yes. Yeah. Do come again. <laughs> yeah, I would love to. My first question is: How has the perspective on the film evolved from the initial script reading to the final product? Like, how different it was? When you first read it, you can't tell what you're like. This is overwhelming. Yeah, it was so overwhelming. But then Zach provided us, like I said, for that scene, like such specific images, mm. and the team that he works with. were able to provide for him something that is like if not identical from his images and i think that genuinely because of how well it is described in the script what i built from my mind and what i saw made so much sense and i think when the end result i mean it's everything is so close to how it's told to how it was drawn mm. to then how it looks i think that comes from a lot of love for the craft but so much of the time you make a movie and you know when when the director is explaining it to you he gives you this fantastical idea you say wow yeah i want to do it <laughs> and then you see them the endurance waning you see them kind of losing focus a little bit you see other people producers and even actors having a lot of power and kind of dissipates and then when you watch the movie you say this is what I signed up for <laughs> Zack has this clarity this laser focus wow. that literally from day one exactly like Sophia says and every actor has this story as well that the first conversation they had mm -hmm. he informed them with all of this information and when we look back we say it was exactly That's like exactly that exactly what he said yeah. 153 days of shooting yeah. a year later we watch the movie and we say This is what he said he was going to do. The execution is on point. On point. Definitely. Fully. What's the most challenging fictional character you've ever made? Batman, Superman, all the DC characters I didn't invent messing Quite around with them. All challenging, but <laughs> not invented. All those characters I invented, they were all difficult. It's probably Noble was the hardest to write, oh. you know, because he's the most mm -hmm. evil guy, so you got to really <laughs> Go on a deep dive to like you know come up with his dialogue, his point of view, everything is very it's tricky. So yeah, I think he was the hardest. What was your most challenging part while shooting for Rebel Moon? The most challenging part was obviously was action sequences. I mean the scale of the fight scene that I first appeared was really huge. If you watched it, you know what I was fighting against. Yeah. <laughs> it was actually really intense. My character Nemesis is using two swords. Basically, her moves were really low like like she's wow. always yeah. using like two legs bended all the time. So physically it was challenging. I think it took almost a week to shoot that one thing. Okay. And it was really hard, hard working and I I'm most proud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, to be a part of that scene. My first impression after watching that scene was like you said what I did <laughs> myself. <laughs> Zack made it after the post production. I think he does he did something on it because Magic. it looked better. It looked better 
and the result. What was your inspiration behind creating this character of Cora? Cora was like inspired to me. I wanted her to be both hero and then slightly troubled. You know, I didn't want her to be completely clean. Yeah. She was really inspiring because I knew she was this cool character. We all want to be her. But then I had to keep putting these like small impediments up. In the end, when you finally lock in with her, it has to be through a little struggle. It can't be so easy, you know. For Sophia, is there any specific scene or a moment in the movie which you particularly are excited for the audiences to see? I think I mean there's I mean there was so much for the audience to discover. I mean I feel like every frame, literally, or every different location that the characters go to, is an exciting moment because Dagus, for example, yeah. where we discovered mm -hmm. Duna, and another. Uh, place that we feel like you're in Rome, like when mm. we go to Pollux, when we discover Titus, uh, Titus played by played by Jaiman. And then when we go on Nuwadi, when we see the bird, like there's every single time there's a, like so many elements that are mesmerized, I Sharon. think, the audience. Sharon. Which was your favorite? I, think I really like the last scene that is between Noble and Belisarius. And I don't know why, it's because I've always had this image as a drawing in my in my trailer. Mm. And I'm not in that scene. It's just I could not wait to see that. And I just found it so just a bit eerie and, and dreamy, which is mm. the purpose of mm -hmm. that scene. The koi fish. I loved, the, I, I loved, I was like, oh, I could not wait to see that scene because they're on the a frozen lake mm. and it's everything is still and you could see the giant koi yeah. swimming swimming underneath i don't know <laughs> something i've never seen before and i think it's such a aesthetically speaking yeah. and it's also it's a pivotal i think scene mm. for the movie and mm -hmm. for the story and it's right at the end mm. and i think aesthetically speaking it's just so stunning i think the audience will love it yeah yeah, I think it's one of my favorite scenes as well, actually. We build up so much of narrative in this movie is fearsome antagonist, scary person, and then you see that he's intimidated by someone else, that he's subservient to someone else. And you say, oh, this is like... It makes the Imperium and the mother world seem even more terrifying, mm -hmm. that he's not even the worst of them, you know? And uh, I think it, it, it obviously it informs what, what potentially could happen in the future movies. Yes. Um, but also, like you say, I remember like yesterday seeing the, the koi fish and the, the art, the, the photos, the uh, images that you have. It was exactly the same. Yeah. But also, Fra Free, who plays Balasarius, is such a wonderful. And in fact, the way we shot it was green floor, green screen on the walls, green everything, just two actors. You know, with so much action in the movie, in a way, it was a relief to just strip everything away and say, okay, now we just act. It was really nice. What drew you to the script? Like, what made you decide to take on this role, this character? First of all, because it's a Zack Snyder's movie, and I was really, I don't know, like, intrigued to know how I was working with him. And the second, the role itself was really charming, and, like, I was so interested to be a kind of guardian of the kids. Mm. Like, physically, it can be a little challenging, but I found it, like, worth it. <laughs> Thank you so much. So I saw the movie last night. You guys did a fabulous job. Thank you. And Thank all you. the best for the movie. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was lovely talking to you. So big fan of your work. Oh, thank Please you so much. Please create more of zombie movies. Okay, I promise. <laughs> so finally, interview khatam ho gaya, aur hum abhi ja rahe hain exciting task ke liye. To hume Rebel Moon. Rebel Moon. Topi mein baad gaye. Piche de de kya view hai? Aur koi ko main dikhati hu. Aaj hum hi hain. दिखनी रहा ना बट क्या ही भी हुआ हाँ यार वाह क्रेजी व्यू और लेट्स गो एंड आई थिंक हम आज लेजर टैग खेलने वाले हैं थोड़ा ग्लैम अप होके तो चलते हैं वहाँ पे अरे बाय दोरे मोंट का अरे तुम डेट पे जा रहे हो ना डिस्टर्ब कर रहे तुम शेड गाइस डोरेमोन इसके पेट में से डोरेमोन उन लोगों को डिस्टर्ब नहीं करना चाहता इसलिए बाजी में बैठा हाँ इसी गैजेट्स 
गाइस हम बहुत ही आइकॉनिक से मॉल में हैं जहाँ पे डोरे हॉल है लोग अपने माइंड क्राफ्ट ये सबके इंडिविजुअल शॉप्स हैं जहाँ से आप उनके सोवीनियर्स गैजेट्स आई डोंट और क्या क्या चीज़ें वहाँ पे देखने मिलेगी लेकिन उससे पहले हम थोड़ा एडवेंचर करने वाले कुछ एक्टिविटी करने वाले सो मज़ा आएगा हेलो कि जापान बट अभी जा नहीं सकते क्योंकि चीज़ें करनी है बट यस मैंने 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 ब्लॉक करा 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 था 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 ना ना इसमें इसकी चोरी पकड़ी ऐसे ऐसे बाल बाल चेक मेरे इतनी सारी चीजें हैं मैं तो वाली बट मुझे रोक देना तुम्हारी इस बीमारी का इलाज मैं हूँ बीमारी पर कंट्रोल हो चुका है कौन से शॉपिंग करने के हाँ थोड़ा बहुत आई नो किस वजह से हुआ है बट उसके लिए वेट करना पड़ेगा थोड़ा और You oh. watched the movies last night. I see you even did your own, yes. your own eyeliner already. You're not a character, so today you can dress up to be a character, or you can create your own character. So we have a lot of accessories yeah, here. Please help yourself to it. Um, I see you've worn your own cape. We have hair and makeup if you need to do anything to dress up. Right, it's for the arm here. So guys, हम यहाँ से कोई भी चीज़ लेके अपना खुद का character बना सकते हैं. तो सुल्तान ही बनना चाहते हैं. बहुत मजा आया काफी टाइम बाद खेला है थैंक्स टू रेबल मून एंड नेटफ्लिक्स बहुत मजा आया हमारी टीम पहले वाली टीम थोड़ी सी कच्चा खेली पर बाद में हम जीत गए अब सुदर्शन और मीर खेलने जा रहे हैं तो हम लोग देखते हैं तो कैसा खेलता है अभी इन्हों की टर्न है अरे मेरा डीओपी का जिता दिया गाइस मीर ने जिता दिया भी जीतने वाले को बाजी करके तू क्यों हारा मैं हारा इसलिए जीते मैंने जीता है यस अंधेरा है बट ठीक है सो so, बहुत मजा आया लेजर टैग खेल के अभी उन्होंने हमें छोड़ दिया बोला आप लोग शॉपिंग कर रहे हैं मॉल में माइंड क्राफ्ट के स्टोर के नीचे है और यहाँ पे सारी गोल्ड गाइस मैं माइंड क्राफ्ट एक दो बार ही खेली हूँ मुझे बिल्कुल समझ में नहीं आया था सच बता रही तो मैंने बंद कर दिया खेलना बट आई नो के कैरेक्टर्स और ये सब कैसे कैसे होते हैं बहुत क्यूट लग रहा है और ये जो वेंडिंग मशीन है इसमें आप डालोगे तो ये निकल सकता है बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली हमारे पास चिल्डर नहीं है जादू मशीन देखा है नहीं देखा मैं गारंटी दे सकती हूँ लगभग ही सिंचन आ गया <laughs> मेरा नाम भी है। बड़ा हो गया सच्चा। बड़ी मुश्किल में कम ऑन बेबी कम ऑन बेबी आओ करे डाल शुरू नाच
तो अभी हम थोड़ी सी शॉपिंग करने आए हैं ये जियो में जो की थोड़ा थोड़ा सब बेसिक जहाँ पे सारी चीजें मिलती है वो मिल रही है लेकिन यहाँ पे एक दिक्कत है सब कुछ यहाँ पे स्मॉल मीडियम लार्ज में मिलता है मतलब कपड़े का तो समझ में आता है बट शूज भी स्मॉल मीडियम लार्ज है तो समझ में नहीं आ रहा है ये क्या करें देखो ये अग्स की जैसे है तो गाइज मुझे ड्रग स्टोर के बहुत सारे प्रोडक्ट्स चाहिए थे जिसका मैं बाद में आपको अच्छा सा वीडियो बताऊंगी कि मैंने क्या क्या लिया है तो अब मैं शॉपिंग करती हूँ आपको बाद में मिलती हूँ गाइस हम लोग मॉल से जा रहे थे एंड गेस हमने किसको देखा का दुश्मन तो नहीं ये नहीं डोरेमोन असली डोरेमोन डोरेमोन जियान है डोरेमोन के कपड़े में जियान सूट वूट पहना हुआ यार गाइस जब पेट में खाना जाता है जो मजा आता है पहले हम सब इतने इरिटेटेड थे बट खाना खा के वो भी इंडियन फूड खा के जो मजा आया है सबका चेहरा देखो हमारा सबका सब चेहरा देखो देखोगे खुशी में खुशी में भी नींद में भी है खुशी सो आई थिंक मैं आज का ब्लॉग यहीं पर एंड करूँगी थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग द ब्लॉग जापान की अस्सी मस्ती बहुत जल्दी शुरू होने वाली सो स्टेट यू एंड Thank you.